It was like she never had a sandwich. <laughs> like, she didn't, like it was, it was like it was like a madman's dream. Hello and welcome back to the channel. We are in Epping Forest for our Christmas Day ho 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 festive walk. It isn't festive in no way other than it's going out on Christmas Day. And with me I have a special guest who's the only guest who's come to a walk carrying a bag of animal feces. Mr. Zach Allsop. <laughs> Merry Christmas everyone! <laughs> I did think they were chocolatey treats but it did not taste like it. Let's go walking. <laughs> Is this the first dog ever? No, oh. I believe this, I'm sorry, there, uh, Helen Anderson took a dog on the walk. Right. Uh, You're not the first then. No, sorry, Rue. Very well behaved, Rue, is this typical? No, the no. whole way up on the train, just fucking giving it the big ones. How long have you had her? That's a good question. She's Thank a lot down dog. <laughs> it's like oh. Paxman here, no, Yeah, the hard <laughs> yeah. questions early on. Uh, we got a like mid, lockdown so it was august actually august last year yeah so yeah just over a year about a year and three months now what made so. you decide to get a dog do, do you know how simple the thinking was i was like i'm gonna want a dog some point in my life why not now which is yeah. not the best way to make any decision but i was just like the only reason to not get a dog for me was work but i was so far out of the usual like routine of work yeah. of, like travel and sort of filming videos I, I wasn't filming that much that i couldn't bring my head to where I, what that was like i was like i've got loads of time now yeah. so um yeah that, that was the decision but it, it was made a lot easier by the fact that my girlfriend's parents were like breeding their dog and this is one of the offspring so oh, nice. it was a free dog free dog right yeah really good <laughs> you know free dog um, you can't turn down a free dog no, it's a 15 years of fucking responsibility yeah, yeah um that was that yeah that was the decision and to be honest like I don't regret it. I don't regret it. It's just, you know, obviously you have children. Yeah. The first time you ever get a bit of responsibility in your life, you realise yeah. how, like, sort of selfish I, in a way that your life has been so self-absorbed. Yeah. It's like that. I've had that, like, sort of realisation. I'm like, oh, fuck, I've actually got to look after something other than myself now. When you got it, did it feel like one of those things that you shouldn't be allowed to have? Yeah. Which, it like, did. when I first hired a van, <laughs> yeah. I was driving a van and I was like... I was like, oh, this doesn't seem right. <laughs> this doesn't seem safe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, d it did, actually. Yeah, it was like, I don't know. It, I remember the first few weeks of just like, we just moved into a new flat. It, everything felt like new. We had a mattress on the floor. We had her next to it. No sleep all throughout the night. It's like, I was just like, this is just so fucking weird. It's like a, a wild animal in our house. It's <laughs> yeah. like, and we just shit, like every now and then, I'd just be watching her. Just like, like I've got her until I'm like, at least 30. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So it was it, it was quite, it was like a bit shell shocked like at that in those moments. I was like, yeah, this is um this is the most this is the longest commitment I've ever made in my life. <laughs> to anything, other yeah. than to just staying alive, I suppose. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like I had um uh, when when we had kids, it was it was obviously first of all it's like a, oh my god, we've got to look after someone. But the thing I found really weird was when my daughter started school, because then it was like you have to do something because before <laughs> even if you've got a kid yeah. you can go you can do what you want yeah yeah you can still go and we took it to australia to visit my wife's brother and right. stuff like that and but then once they start school it's like oh no you have to be here yeah. for most of the year <laughs> within walking distance of this yeah yeah oh, dog friend for your dog <laughs> um and that was like oh god yeah you you, yeah. you feel like i don't know did that that make you feel pinned down at all a little uh, yeah more like the first time in my adult life that i wasn't able to do whatever I want yeah. or whatever within reason sort of yeah. thing like that because obviously there are restrictions anyway but yeah, it's, yeah. yeah it's a bit weird I've got used to it now yeah sort of I, th I think like especially with with the job right like YouTube I was even before YouTube I was like freelance videographer so that in itself was like pure freedom it was choice over like what it, some degree it was like choice over what work I did and didn't do working hours the whole lot <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, you're doing a video. Ah, oh, it's alright. Oh, very friendly. Oh, we are. Yeah. That dog's, that dog's really taking advantage of Ruby on a leash there. To prevent. Ernest, come on. But yeah, like, where was I? Um, uh, job. 
Yeah, jo- yeah. So like being a freelancer, like yeah. pretty, pretty fucking fluid with whatever I was doing. Then, then as soon as it's YouTube, it was like literally whatever the fuck I wanted to do. Yeah. So yeah, in those like even now, just having to walk out every morning is like having to get up at a certain time in order to get to somewhere on time. Yeah. It's just like that level. It it seems so like rudimentary and simple, but <laughs> yeah. like. I've never had to think that way before. Yeah. So um, it, it's nice in some ways because I think during lockdown I craved a bit of um, sort of routine. Yeah. And, and a bit of comfort, to be honest. So like, uh, yeah, it, she definitely added that. But how was lockdown for you? It was intense. It, it was intense. I, I, I don't think I would say it was an overwhelmingly negative experience. I think like, I think the fact that everyone was in the same boat yeah. was was kind of nice and and if anything i get kind of um nostalgic about lockdown yeah. one like the the sum it, it seemed like such a i don't know it was so strange it was like sunny is sunny as anything everyone like i don't know whether it was the same for you but like i'd been living in this flat for a year in west london yeah on the third third story like of just like a townhouse building neighbors either side and for the first day of lockdown, there was music outside. There was I had Argentinian neighbours on the bottom. They were having a barbecue. Uh, other neighbour on the on the left was like out sunbathing, and like suddenly, me and Jay were just like chatting to both sides, yeah. and it felt kind of nice. Like we, they they sent us up some chicken wings on like a little thing that we made, and yeah. like it was just the first time we had ever spoke to anyone. Um, after that, it got pretty fucking boring. But yeah, that, I, think, I think the weather of lockdown one yeah. made such a difference. Oh, it was absolute so yeah, absolute saviour. Like the the little time we could be outside, like we had this little sort of roof balcony thing, which was you know like if two of us led down, that was the whole floor space like yeah. taken up. But we that that was like sunlight until like, it was from like midday through to like sunrise, which in London again like you just. I was looking down at the neighbours on that side. We'd get it from like 9 a.m. to 11, yeah. and then we'd get it the, the other your side. Shift, yeah. I was just like, "Fuck, that could be so much worse." We didn't have sun; like, it would yeah. just—it would be such a dingy flat. So, yeah, there was there was a lot. Like the sun, sun absolutely killed it. Like, big up the sun for yeah, fucking just showing shout out up. To the sun. Yeah, shout yeah, out, yeah, if yeah. you're watching, shout out to you, sun. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but I think go, go to the sun on Twitter and drop a little face <laughs> if you're watching yeah. this. <laughs> but um, yeah, obviously I was I was living with Jay, so I was living and working. Um, socializing, eating with Jay, like <laughs> yeah. it was just very, very intense. And I think we we managed it very fucking well, considering like we there was no big fallout, there was no like sort of drama really. We just like we prioritized like our relationship so much yeah. in that time, where like it was it was sort of essential that we did that really because we. So where's there a phone? <laughs> We're in the middle of a forest. <laughs> It's the banker calling. Hello. <laughs> that is so fucking weird. We're in the middle of the there's fucking There's nothing. Point. There's no buildings around. Wow. That is. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Um, for walk already. <laughs> yeah. Um, no. So yeah, it was it was just intense. Like we obviously the sort of videos we like to do. They're outside normally. They're yeah. engaging with people or big events or big things happening yeah. in the world so like you take all of that away and like what is our channel and i think we went through like a lot of um just questioning what the fuck are we going to do initially yeah. it was like doing what most other youtubers did with just like take the pressure yeah. off then do nothing for a bit and figure it out um and then suddenly we had we had something internal going on with the company we were working with like they were paying for our editors yeah and we then got told that one of our editors was going to have to get let go and we were like no, we need them. And they were like, why do you need them? We're like, well, we're now uploading three times a week. So we basically made up this um, Stuck Inside show. We were like, yeah, yeah. oh, we, we need the editor now. We, we're doing like twice as many videos. So then we basically did that to save his job. But then we had to like make the Stuck Inside show. <laughs> so it was a weird time. Like we, we just like had to, we, we felt like we had to do something. So we did, yeah, did, did this thing called the Stuck Inside show. It wasn't what me and Jay wanted to do really. It didn't inspire us that much. Yeah. Our whole house turned into a fucking set. Yeah. It was literally lighting everywhere, cables, the lot, um, massive green screen hung over both the curtains. Like it was just when I think of it now, like that was like such a gross feeling. Just like <laughs> just being in a set all day, like trying to yeah. just film stupid little segments from like a bathroom and shit like that. Like we were definitely doing the best we could, but yeah. Like yeah, I thought, I like for you, obviously, it's very being so excited is very 
problematic for the kind of stuff <laughs> yeah. you do. But yeah. for me, when lockdown came around, I was thinking, this is my cup final. <laughs> this is my job. <laughs> Most of my videos are being set Shall aside. I? Now everyone's brought down to my level. Yeah, yeah. It's my chance to sign, to shine. And then they shut the schools. I had to teach my kids. <laughs> which was you actually had to homeschool. Yeah. Really? I did, yeah. But I. And Is that expected? Well, we had. Yeah. I mean, the other schools shut for months, and that, and then they just they send things home. But like the school, they've moved schools now because we've we've moved to Norwich. But we're down in Kent. But the school, I mean, it didn't smash it. To be fair, <laughs> like it was. They would send through. It would honestly take me between 45 minutes to an hour to work out at the start of each week really? they'd been sent home. <laughs> and to be fair, they weren't, they weren't expecting this, but even still, it's like they'd send through... The, even the documents weren't in the same format. There were like different emails would come from different subjects. you get your English stuff and it'd be like, OK, Matt, do the, read the thing from another email and do this. And you'd be just trying to print everything out and piece it all together. It was, like, it was really hard. Yeah. And there'd be things like... There were clearly things that had been printed out and then they just re-scanned them and put them in, <laughs> which meant you couldn't copy and paste any words if you wanted to put oh, in something else. No. Or there were tables that, that is... it was like some things were on PowerPoint things and you had to get in it. They weren't like all PDFs or something oh. useful like that. It was a nightmare, absolute nightmare. I, I, went, I went from, show. I went instantly, within about three days, I was like, teachers should be getting 300 grand a year minimum. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely unreal. Yeah, that, that is, that's a lot. To, it was. Yeah, so I just didn't to... redo really anything. <laughs> just didn't do any videos for ages. Do, do, are you glad that you sort of didn't now, do you, or do you wish that you were more? Because I feel I feel like people they either they either went pure productive, they did workouts, they got like super fit, and they were like they were they were going for it, and then others were like, I'm going to be kind to myself and just chill out. Where do you think you fit in that? I I was quite pragmatic, and we were like, look, this is obviously a big thing for the kids and everything like that as well and, and the yeah. whole family sort of thing so let's prioritise 100% what's best for everyone and then me <laughs> making videos YouTube about career. the bins can wait <laughs> <laughs> I know I know this is, I know that in many ways the public needs Robbie, this more the than ever the kids are falling behind <laughs> yeah but like the, the I, there was very much like the first day of homeschooling I was like do the Joe Wicks exercise now we'll do this so yeah, it's by like yeah. day three it was like just watch the Horrible Histories movie <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> properly like, they're yeah. like I got all the emails through like, they're like the RE ones just, I didn't open one of them really? like, I'm, saying, I'm not teaching them how to read I'm not going to teach them about Jesus <laughs> so, I'm the teacher now <laughs> yeah I don't do that <laughs> um, so yeah but it was uh, that was alright yeah what do you think of Epping Forest you been here before? I have, yeah, once actually, once. And I think this was at the start of lockdown, maybe. This was like probably the furthest I travelled. It's uh, good memories. <laughs> yeah. No, it's just um, just good for the dog, isn't it? Just uh, ample forest room. Yep. Nicer. I, I imagine this would have been nicer back in, you know, peak autumn when the leaves aren't like mush. wet and mush. But, yeah. Uh, they're crisp beneath the feet, but. Yeah, it, that really was a good time for. YouTube walk filming autumn. ASMR. It's quite pleasant. Yeah, and you got the nice, the nice vivid colours, particularly yeah. if you're going to push up the saturation yeah. a bit in your edit. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah it's a, no, it's yeah. nice. Big ratings for this place. I mean, we've only got about 100 metres into the, <laughs> into the woods so far. Yeah, but, that's uh, probably why there's a fire. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Someone's elsewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, all right. Well, should we explore some more? Absolutely. All right. Let's go. Come on, Ruth. Don't so forget your bag of food. good. Oh, yeah. My dog sees a squirrel, it's game over. Quite into squirrels, isn't she? She loves squirrels too much. She's like a squirrel addict. And I actually thought that way you could just see. I'm actually glad she's like so white because you can just see her darting through the woods here. Ro! It's like a horror film. This way! <laughs> the creature just appearing from language you don't expect. Yeah, yeah she has, she like, she'll come in, loop behind you, and you think she's all the way down the road, so. I'm actually slightly worried. The, the one thing my girlfriend texted me is that she was like, enjoy your walk. Don't lose the dog. And she's currently somewhere down there. Room! Room! She's back. Yes, it. Thank God. There's part of me there. Have you ever lost your kids in like um, a big shopping Not place? yet, no. It'll happen. Or, yeah, it's all to play for. That, that, that is uh, one of the most traumatic things that can happen to you as a kid, isn't it? I 
left the house at 6.20 to come down here. Zach? I, yeah, I respect the hustle. I was, um, I was up at 8. Were you? Out the door by 8.40. McDonald's breakfast. I'm not sure, I've got two bits to sit on. I'm not sure whether to sit on that or that. Yeah, you've got to go, got to go higher. Yeah, you know, that's fair. Like, I'm, I'm your son. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, you like a routine? I d uh, no, no. I don't like a route. Whoa. Rue. You are absolutely ruining that shot. <laughs> I, I like the idea of a routine better than I like a routine I've found. I think like I got obsessed with like um, what is the perfect routine and trying to build that um, through listening to these like fucking podcasts yeah, and that. like being produ productive yeah. and all that sort of stuff. So I'm just I just like hearing what other people do with their lives. Yeah. And there, there are different ways to like just operate as a human being. What did you try the things that you learned about? Because I listen to a lot of sort of productivity <laughs> things and give things a go a little bit and find out. Yeah. I do. Like, like me, loads of people swear about meditation. And I, I, I probably do it once or twice a week or something like that. But I've never, yeah. I don't really feel it gives me a huge amount of benefit. I don't know if I've just not got the right meditation. <laughs> yeah. I do, yeah. I, do, I mean, I like, I don't know about you. There's this ideal version of myself, which I, I'm not. But yeah. like the, that, <laughs> yeah. that person that would do, like they'd get up early, go to the gym, then walk the dog and then like yeah. be in bed by 10 30 to be refreshed and ready for the next day the reality of life is that like that will never ever happen no. because like one evening i will literally be so addicted to like a series that i'm watching that i'll just like fuck it i'm, yeah. I'm here till like 1am now so yeah I, I think where i've landed with it all is that i cannot I cannot be held down by a routine, Robert. Yeah. I cannot be held down. I think in the minute, obviously going back to the dog, I have to be up at a certain time just to walk her before like, I want to get cracking on work. But at the same time, like, the job does allow a bit of sort of freedom here and there, so. Is there anything that you've tried or heard about that, you've, that you do find benefit from? For example, I find when I'm stressed, I do actually find like journaling, like writing yeah. down everything that's in my head, just in a nonsensical way, just yeah. do three pages of A4, of everything like hey i'm i've just got up i've done this and then into sort of oh i'm a bit worried about this yeah, and writing yeah. it all down does really clear the mind yeah that's good yes yeah, so on on that i i um i started journaling in like uh in university sort of like gratitude journaling so it's like three three things a day that um you're grateful for and that can be like something as small as this lovely velvety so, yeah. mossy log that, I admire that, that yeah. yeah just well there's trees trees an interesting tree in it we admired a bit of nature i think like so i read that that scientifically like focuses your mind on like the positive things whereas like your brain's an outdated bit of technology essentially where it's sort of made for survival yeah. so you'll notice generally the things that are a threat to you which means that you're noticing a lot more negative things than positive. So by doing that once a day, I do it before bed, but I think you can do it at any time of the day. You just sort of like remember the little things. Yeah. And essentially sort of life is just about like a selection of little things that like, oh, that's quite nice, isn't it? And then like next thing you know, you're having a good day. Because yeah. you've just like, you've, you've noticed like more and you've gone around like your day sort of proactively sort of looking for good stuff, I guess. Yeah. So, I do that, I have been doing that for years and I think that's like really helped. And now anyone I've chatted to also does the same, like literally yeah. loves doing it. Um, uh, apart from that, the other thing that... Well, what, other... what format, sorry, does that take? Does it, as in you write, you're write, you physically write down a little notebook? Yeah, so they, there's actually like formatted notebooks for it. You can buy them off Amazon like 15, 20 quid. So I always do that because uh, I just prefer it. Like it yeah. asks you, and, and it will have other things to be honest, like ask you a, a question yeah. and it'd be like a nice little quote there. That's so nice. yeah, yeah, there's there's like these formatted ones which um you can use for a whole like year. And I, I did, when I was about like, 21 probably, when I first moved back to London from Canada, moved to London from Canada, so I got really nose. Um, I <laughs> just blow my nose everyone, <laughs> talk amongst yourself. Um, so I, um, I did do a COVID test this morning. Uh, so it's not COVID, it's just a runny nose. Um, so I am, um, I did, came out from Canada and I did read a few of these little books about with ideas of stuff to do so I think, and uh, these things do help I remember reading something that just said smile at three people yeah day. so I was just like hey, it just made me feel a little <laughs> the bit Brit better. the yeah. British smile was like closed mouth yeah. sort of no teeth just like mm. right <laughs> yeah yeah so things like I think things like this do do help I think and it's always yeah. like, and getting outside I find is really good I love yeah walking and doing yeah stuff. yeah do you walk much was, in general i was always i hated walking like 
I don't know where this, this actually comes from. Where, where I think I've landed on with it is that I hated walking because it seemed so unproductive. Like I was, I used to be, well, I still am sort of like, so addicted by the idea of being like productive and yeah. just like, I don't know, getting the most out of like your day. So like walking somewhere just seems so like counter that. It was only during lockdown, ironically, that I started enjoying walks because yeah. there was nothing else to do and that was the only thing you sort of could do. And I went on so many like really nice walks all the way to like Chiswick from like Shepherd's Bush area. So I was walking for like, you know, five, six hours and started to really enjoy it. And, and now I see the value of a walk. And I, I actually, I walk every day because I've got a dog now. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, before that, I was just, I was, if anything, I was anti-walk. Wow. Like my girlfriend, you're, you're, yeah, I you're was protesting uh, outside I, parks. I, <laughs> yeah, I had like a strong position on it. Yeah, you wouldn't march on it, but you'd stand still <laughs> yeah. and protest. Yeah, like me and yeah. my girlfriend was just like, we would we would have like disagreements about walking places. She'd be like, oh, come on, it'd be nice. I'd be like, no, it fucking won't be. Oh. It would be, it won't be enjoyable. And I don't enjoy it, okay? So like, I would tap out mentally before I'd even gone on walks. Yeah. So, um, yeah. It was I the- find even like, if I'm walking my own or something, people, you get, you get like really, I get a lot of ideas yeah. walking. I think it is good for creativity and for thinking up yeah. stuff. Yeah. But they might yeah. not come across in the content, but there are good ideas coming. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, sure. How did yeah. you come up with the idea for this series? Was it on a walk? Uh, no, it was, what was it? It was a mix of things. Partly it was, there was a global pandemic on, you couldn't go inside. <laughs> so I was like, well, let's do something outside. Uh, two, I'm too lazy to um, do a lot of sound editing and stuff right. like that. So if you go to walk, it's generally quite quiet. So yeah, it's yeah. quite a good, good situation <laughs> for doing things. There's so much more to this than I thought there's there was. So much, there's so much to it. I'd, I'd seen, I'd actually seen um, the former footballer Mark Crosley we were talking about walking a bit on Twitter at the time. Right. And I was like, oh, I like walking. He's right about walking. So there's a little bit of ripped off that. Um, yeah. And then a lot of, a lot of, a lot of the stuff I do is, is due to laziness. Like, it's yeah, like yeah. people say, oh, I really like the way you picked a low um, camera angle so that it looks like you're just there, like experiencing <laughs> it from down there. Can't be asked to bring a tripod. Yeah. <laughs> Cannot be asked to bring a tripod. <laughs> No, but, it's but a creative decision. Yeah, it is. It's an yeah, important, absolutely. it's an important creative decision. <laughs> oh, but I, I, more than that is that doing. I think doing videos is, depending on what you're doing, can be quite lonely. You don't really meet people. Whereas it is nice yeah. to go and meet a human yeah, being yeah. and a dog. Yeah, yeah. Um, no, and, it's definitely and a wholesome a series. Yeah. Like, I, I find, like this, your series, this one is, uh, is sort of like Sunday viewing for me. Yeah. It's, like a, it's like a comfort sort of. Thing. I put them out at 8am in the morning on Saturdays normally just to capture the hungover yeah, yeah. crowd. Still in bed like, Still in bed oh. like, oh, put it on. <laughs> yeah. Um, See, so. that's strategic. That is this strategic. camera angle might not be, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Times no, that. No, it is. And also, it's, I don't think there's a lot of competition. I don't think many people are uploading at 8am on a Saturday morning. <laughs> You're not competing. Very, yeah, but then you always get a really point. passive aggressive message from YouTube when he goes, hey, this video is doing quite well despite the fact that very few of your viewers are awake or <laughs> watching. It's like, All right, YouTube, I know. Yeah, YouTube's I know like, times, but... YouTube's that voice in your head, isn't it? Like, it just exposes all your insecurities about yeah. the video. I, I love it. I love I love what it's like doing that one out of ten. <laughs> so people don't know it's youtube does a thing of if you make videos and it says out of your last 10 videos where your video stood <laughs> at that point in time so say you're a day in it will say yours uh, yours is like fourth of views it's like a horse a race isn't it like, like a yeah, very yeah, yeah. slow horse race yeah, yeah. it's got a good way when you've, you've got like a, you go, oh, it's like a seven or something and then it suddenly bursts up to yeah, three yeah. and come on but normally it's, it doesn't do normally it's it's where it is is where it will yeah. stay. And suddenly, it doesn't matter how much fun you've had filming the video, it doesn't yeah. matter, how, matter how much fun you've had just during the process of creating it, the second it's ranked below the top five, fucking worthless, <laughs> we shouldn't do that. <laughs> Bollocks. Does yeah. it bother you when things It does, it does. Uh, I suppose it's different it, for you because you've, you've put more effort in than I do. <laughs> <laughs> like, I imagine if I'd gone to the effort of getting a projector or something yeah. like that, that, it'd be more of a... No, I d- yeah. I, do you know what, like, yeah. I. Me and Jay went through this whole process of like trying to detach our emotion from from how well things perform, like on YouTube. And I I, I think I've definitely got to a place where it affects me less and like I can I can take it or leave it. I've I've sort of set boundaries sometimes like I'll just delete the YouTube studio app and I won't be bothered to check it. But it's it's whenever you can't th- <laughs> 
<laughs> but it's, it is whenever, like, I, I don't know. I, I think fundamentally, I used to think that if I didn't care, then I wouldn't be successful on the platform. Because suddenly, if I don't care whether the video is doing well, that will like lead into like a whole downward spiral. So I got like, I, I don't think that's true. I, I like, I've no. s- since yeah. arrived at the place where I don't think that's true. However, fundamentally, I do want to reach more people because yeah. I, I feel like. I've got something to offer and I feel like the videos are entertaining and you can take something from them. So naturally, like, I, I hate it when people are like, oh, you're just doing this for views. And I'm like, well, in a way, yeah, but like <laughs> as a result of everything that like comes with yeah. the views is just like, it's yeah. a better experience. You get better yeah. opportunities, like you, you make more of an impact on people. So why would I not want my work to reach more people? Yeah, so. definitely. And it's, it's totally, cause, cause I genuinely, I genuinely, I'm not particularly bothered at how a video does. I mean, when I do like the skiing videos and it takes me well a week to edit them and like a, yeah. well, a week to film because well when I'm on holiday it's not really dedicated to that yeah, but yeah. then essentially it's like probably a solid week's editing yeah. to, to, to make this sort of 50 minute long 40 minute long film um, I reckon if that got like 300 views I probably wouldn't I probably wouldn't be here going oh it doesn't bother me it doesn't bother me yeah sort of thing but but in general I think I have an I what I think of has helped is having an idea what a video is for like, right. is it for, what is the purpose of something? Like, like, is it for people who are already watching, who just want yeah, more yeah. stuff? Is it to reach new people? Is yeah, it that yeah. sort of thing? And I think then it sort of, it gives me a sort of clearer thing of the priorities. Because if, if I'm doing a video of me fitting a doorbell, Probably not gonna, probably not gonna <laughs> capture loads of new viewers, sort of thing. But it is still giving That's people it, things it that they enjoy. It's a step by step guide on how to it's, install it's the not. ring. <laughs> <laughs> it's me badly fitting it. No one's gonna follow that. And yeah. go, I'm gonna copy that guy's idea. So yeah, so no, things. that's that's actually true. Like, it, yeah, it, it's sort of like defining what success is for that particular video. Yeah, and and if success is to engage your community and and just keep active, then, yeah, then that's it. Yeah, it's it's. I do think I do it in a hard way because I do so many different things. And there'll be people who will watch the skiing video yeah. and go, oh, brilliant, I love, love the skiing content. Yeah. And then they go, I'm just taking out the things. <laughs> and they're like, oh, unsubscribe. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, yeah. Quite a lot of instant unsubscribes every time I do anything. But, but I, I feel like, in, like you're more of a, a personality-based creator anyway. Like People who follow you care about you, whereas I don't feel like my content's like that at all. So, so the success is of mine is sort of like in the growth of the channel and the and the, the views whereas yours is just like i'd say you're having a great, you're engaging your community you're you're chatting with them you're sort of just yeah it's very personable your content it whereas is. mine is like could be on lad bible no I don't, I don't think that's true i think i think it might start that might be how people discover things but then i think they get into right. you as a person as well i'd say no no, no, I, do, I think you're right. And I do definitely, like, I, I see people who watch the channel regularly. There is a sense of community, for sure. But, um, yeah, I think, like, when you compare... I don't know. Maybe I'm being too too black and white with the definitions. But, yeah. Maybe yeah, I, I do. I, it is a conscious decision for me to try and do as much different stuff as possible. Because yeah, I don't want to get bored <laughs> of, of doing stuff. And, yeah. I, and, and it does keep the bar exceptionally low for what can be content. <laughs> so it is like... It's yeah. like um, yeah, it's yeah. Is yeah, it what, what have you? What are you most excited to film? Skiing stuff. Are you? Yeah. So I was supposed to be going away, a week and a half. To I've, I've seen the, the saga on on Twitter unfolding. Don't don't don't. don't. <laughs> and it's no, it can't, it can't be. Out. I hope I can get away somewhere this year because I've been away skiing. But can you not? Are, are you? In, were you intending to film that trip? Yeah. So can you not film it? Like, is that not a work trip? Or it isn't but then if it's a work trip and I've got to go through immigration and tell them I'm working then they're going to say oh, where's your visa <laughs> because Brexit's ruined uh, that side of things I think really I, well yeah I think so uh. I think if you're if you're going saying you're working is this then it's I think it's it's a it's a mm. minefield. So right. you can tell different things. You can go do yeah, make a YouTube video while you're away or something like that. But if you go, this is a work trip. Then, okay, interesting, <laughs> interesting, Mr. Knox. Yeah. So yeah. yeah, I think it's I think it's 
I, I can't. Okay, I also, I'm supposed to be going there with like 40 other people. It's quite a big claim. <laughs> the, well, this is my yeah, crew. This is my crew, yeah. A lot, sure. like eight of the crew are under 10 years old. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah. It's a children's TV production. Yeah, so no. But I mean, like, we, could go, we could go to Bulgaria because Bulgaria doesn't really seem to care. About this. <laughs> but it just feels like things are getting so bad at the minute. We're like, yeah, yeah. I don't think it's, I don't, I think. It's more. It's going to be worse. Sort of, if you get COVID out there, or if you get stuck there, or something oh, yeah. like that, then it's going to be more of a risk. I think we better just wait. But those are the things I like doing, um, because I think they're really. I think they're as good as any travel vlogs out there, sort of thing. I yeah. think I put a lot of effort into them and try and make it as, as informative and entertaining as possible, sort of thing. And, and they do take yeah. a long, long time to do. And it means that one day I might get free skiing holidays, which is the only reason I'm doing YouTube. <laughs> so, so, um, so yeah, you like a bit of a you like a snowboard, don't you? I do like a snowboard. Yeah, yeah, I'm uh, I'm one of those shred, shred, shred sweet. Can you do jumps and stuff? Um, I can, I can. I'm not like I'm definitely not an expert in like the park. Like I don't feel comfortable in in the sort of park sections, but I will just have a go. I, mean, I, I did a backflip once um, deliberately. Deliberately, <laughs> deliberately, yeah. You remember back for its one mistake. <laughs> yeah, it. I, d I did a back for once. Like it was into powder, so there was almost nothing to lose. Like, yeah. It was really deep, and um, I, I, I very nearly came close to landing it. And then I tried a few years later with friends. We built like a little jump into what I thought was powder, and then I, I just headbutted my knee, and like I'm pretty sure I broke my nose. So I, yeah, I've, I've since been a little bit more yeah. reserved with it. I, I've got like a slip disc in my back and stuff. Like I'm, I'm definitely not. I've got like a bad shoulder yeah. where like, I, I broke it once and, and not snowboarding, but like, you know, I'm, I'm not as young and sprightly as I used to be. <laughs> you know, so, not a spring chicken. No, exactly. Work. So yeah, that, that does come into my, my, um, I kinda, I'll do a little bit where I go off the side, just go a little bit off the yeah, ground. Yeah. That feels like, God, and then you see it back on the camera. Like, <laughs> it's like I, I'll do that, but I've never sort of, I've never sort of, got it, but I think maybe one day I might, when we can ski again, I might go and just try and learn I don't want to. I'm not trying to do backflips. Yeah, yeah. I just want to go, be comfortable yeah. being not touching the snow. Yeah, yeah. But then, well, that's that's the beauty of it, right? It's like you, whatever your comfort zone is. Well, even if if you are comfortable with doing like a 50 foot jump, to do a 50 foot jump, you'll still get the same amount of adrenaline as you in your current skill level <laughs> yes. jumping like a, a little tuft on the side. Yeah, there. yeah, yeah. So yeah, it's all it's all um it's all learning. Yeah. Isn't what it? sort of things you like doing when you're skiing? Is it is it sort of just uh, going fast is it just every time out? i've been is just been with like mates from home or or at university so yeah it's just been um just been cruising to be honest like yeah, i, I, I do that. like going off piste like whenever whenever it is allowed i suppose yeah. like whenever there's a decent spot but yeah just just cruising just cruising like, i'm one of those dickheads who like carry around a speaker oh you don't like... <laughs> you don't <laughs> yeah no you don't You're I, better than I, that. I made a whole video that um that is like holding a rave in a gondola. So um, that's fine though. That's for content. Yeah. Yeah. No, I suppose you're right. It's not. It's I just suppose. when you're randomly going. This is quite peaceful. There's some bloke <laughs> just on and going. No, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. Just mob it out. Yeah, and it's never. As I said, this on a video for it. It's never the good. It's never good music, is it? They never. Play, they never play like pet sounds or something. <laughs> it's not some some shit. Yeah. To be fair, like, yeah. but I. Yeah, I mean, I also think the same. Like, so the times yeah. that I have carried a speaker, and I have done it. Yeah. I have done it when not filming content. Yeah. I, I'd say, like, by and large, I do also think they're not bad. So I don't mind if if you're with friends and you stop somewhere at the side. Yeah. Play some music there. You can go past. Have a little beer. Absolutely no problem. Yeah, yeah. No problem. Yeah. It's just the general moving <laughs> around with this. It was just one bloke doing it. So like, I go, just put headphones in, mate. Just yeah. Put headphones in. No one cares. <laughs> no one wants to hear yeah, your music. Yeah. Yeah. The solo guys, I don't understand. But um. Yeah. Yeah. No. Every, every time I went went skiing or so but it's just been a mixture of just sort of getting quite drunk and then snowboarding during the day which is a great hangover cure really just i find i there. never really get bad hangovers in the mountains no i don't know whether that's because of the altitude or just the fresh air or just the fact that you you're doing something which is quite enjoyable normally when you're hungover yeah. you just you wallow in your own self-pity, don't you? Yeah, you're sick. I thought you were going to say that. Yeah. Just lie there, you have vomit. Incredible insight into your yeah. life. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Wonderful. Should we carry on walking? Absolutely, yeah. Brilliant. Come on, Rue. You've been very well behaved. Yeah, this is this is top tier from Rue. I must say. smashing it. When I was at school, I was by no way 
one of the more attractive <laughs> people in my school. Like, I wasn't one of the highest, but, but I reckon because I've just sort of stayed the same and everyone else you has gone like to You look like this when you were 12. <laughs> no, 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 no. But, but I've not got, I've still got hair. Yeah. I've not become a beast. Yeah, yeah. I have some basic understanding of modern culture. <laughs> I've changed my clothes in the last 20 years. <laughs> I generally, I'll look and I'll go on like Facebook and see like the cool kids from school and go, where the fuck have you spent the last 20 years? <laughs> Chernobyl? What the fuck's happened? And so I think I'm now, I think I'm quite hot for my age now, yeah, yeah. but not through anything I've done just because I haven't gone to shit. <laughs> you maintain. Yeah, I've just maintained everyone else has dropped off and now I'm like, yeah, I'm all right now. Yeah. I'm okay. I mean, I, that is, that's very true for a lot of people, isn't it? They just yeah. do let them suffer. <laughs> well, life happens, you know? Like, yeah. it's, it's not all about being hot. <laughs> no, thank God. <laughs> You're hot by accident. <laughs> yeah, exactly, I'm hot by default. <laughs> so, um, so Zach, this is um, the Christmas special. In it the is. fact it's going out at Christmas. There's nothing yeah. else that's no, made no, it this Christmas is Christmas Eve. Day, right? This is Christmas Day. That's how it works on YouTube. Talk me through Zach Allsop Christmas Day. Zach Allsop Christmas Day. So, you wake up. Classic. <laughs> Unfortunately, no, you, <laughs> you, you wish you up. hadn't. In, in recent years, you wake up a little bit hungover, nice. uh, so you, you're edging towards like 9 a.m. Was it a big local pub the night before? Uh, it is, yeah, Midsummer Norton. Um, you know, town of town of 12,000 people. You've got a decent amount of pubs there uh, for a short sort of area. So you, you can either do the classic pub crawl, uh, where you end up in the only nightclub called Fat Sam's. <laughs> Nice. Yeah, you're there till like about 2 a.m. singing Robbie Williams and Christmas songs. I've, I've done that a few times to be fair, and I, I did lose respect for myself, so I, I tend to not do that anymore. <laughs> yeah, on um, Christmas Eve it's strong, isn't it? Yeah, you just like, it, it reaches the point where it is midnight and everyone like hugs each other, oh, Merry Christmas, and then you're like, oh, God. I'm still here, yeah, it's Christmas. Yeah, you just, yeah. And, and Santa's recent... going to be sad. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, he's already been. Yeah, like, uh, so I don't do that anymore. <laughs> Uh, and also the fact that I'm, I'm like a bit older now, so whenever I do go out, it's like all these generations like who I, I don't even recognise from school and stuff. So, yeah, I'm, I'm starting to feel old in my hometown. But it's usually pub night before. Woke up a bit hungover. Go downstairs. It's all about it's all about the stockings. Oh, you do stockings first. Yep, classic. So um, normally you got to sit down and mum will mum will dish out the stockings. All oh, right. So they've not Santa's not. Deliver them. Oh no no yeah yeah yeah. Santa's given them to your mum and she's just no no. I mean they're they're above the um the fireplace, but oh, right, okay. mum will she'll get out the gift that she wants you yeah. to open first sort of thing. So um Santa brings the stockings into the bedrooms, which is much more high risk for Santa in our house. <laughs> really? Yeah. That's... Although um uh I'll tell you my sons began to question a lot of these things. Like he's questioning the tooth fairy now. They go going. Tooth fairy's a bit weird. I'm like, what do you mean? He goes, why does she want like children's teeth? <laughs> like, yeah, very good point. Such a valid question. Very good point. And the same with Santa. He's like, why does why does Santa break into people's houses? What's wrong with him? Like, yeah, fair enough. But uh, the fact he's going to your kids' bedrooms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do, do you have um do you have a chimney? You have uh, a not in this house. We did in the Holder house. So we're not sure how it's right. going to work with Santa this year. Leave a key out. Leave a key out. Yeah. Don't need to make sense. You just do. Do you do the? Do you leave carrots and mince pies? Carrot, mince pie, and some milk. Do you take a bite of all of them? Santa does. Yeah. Yep. Oh, Santa if you're does. Watching. Yeah, Santa does. Yeah. Um, uh, with the carrots, obviously for Rudolph, not for Santa. Yeah, yeah. Uh, a bit unfair on the other reindeers. <laughs> <laughs> Rudolph's like in his feast, <laughs> yeah. and Blitzen's just sat there. Fuming. You've got a red nose. Fuck off. Yeah. <laughs> Blitzen's like, can we swing by Greg? I'm starving. <laughs> Rudolph's like, I'm all right, mate. I'm fine. <laughs> do you, do yeah. you know what? I've, I've, I saw my. Um, my nan do this for my other cousin, and I always thought it was the coolest thing, but we never got it. Um, it was basically like you put a boot down and you dust a bit of icing sugar around it. Santa does, yep, yep, yep. Do you do yeah. that? No, 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 no. Santa does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I always thought that was that would be so cool as a kid. And then yep. if you're like, you just, it's either snow. Um, maybe or Santa like... will this year, who knows? <laughs> gonna have... Yeah. Yeah, so a um, little idea there for you. That's but, a good idea, yeah. Um, after then, it's all about the fry up. Great. Christmas Day fry up. Okay. Normally that's my dad's sort of realm. Wonderful. He's like a, a sort of one pot master, just fucking whack it all on a high heat, burn it to shreds. And uh, what's in the fry up? Uh, well, you go for your classic, your sausage, your chipolatas. Not the chipolata? fat ones, yeah, okay. chipolata. Yeah. Nice. Uh, it's got to be hash browns. Yep. Big tub of baked beans. Yep. Uh, the toast. The toast normally gets annihilated, so I, I normally 
check over the toast because yeah. I, I seem to be the only one in the house which I don't live in anymore that knows the timer on the toaster yeah one and a half minutes uh, if it's already warmed up then you go for the one minute that's normally... you don't got like a number of... it's not yeah yeah so it's one but you've got to go between the one and the two does that represent minutes the number I had this discussion with my girlfriend the other day and I thought it does well on this one it goes oh so okay it down, it does it's then, not yeah. it's not the heat okay yeah so uh yeah you should have a else? medieval toaster <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. What else? Oh, my dad. My bacon? dad's a big fan. Yeah, yeah, bacon. My dad's a big fan of the mushrooms. I, I can take them or leave them. Big um, portobello or sliced? Oh, the, no, nah, not even sliced. The little, little chestnut okay. ones. Little, little. Cooked, yeah. yeah those, those bad boys. And he always, you know what he'll say every year? He'd be like, he'll, he'll put them all in a massive pan, the mushrooms, and he'll just leave them, and he'd be like, they're a juice, so they'd be tiny. And he just makes a point of telling everyone that the, the mushrooms will reduce in size. Yeah. And it's like a, a fact. In case everyone's sat there worried about yeah, the size yeah. of the mushrooms. Going, oh my way God, too big. Look how big those mushrooms are <laughs> for <around> Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, it's a miracle. <laughs> you were right Santa's again, Dad. Magic. <laughs> dad, Dad. <laughs> oh, nice. And what, what, what style of egg? Is there eggs in there? Uh, yeah, fried. fried. Fried only. Fried across the board. That's mum's realm, actually. Okay. Yeah, mum, mum tags in on the, on the eggs. Okay. And then, uh, a J2O, so, normally go for a J2O for a ooh. Yeah, yeah. Orange and a passion fruit J2O for breakfast. Nice. Yeah. I've never had a J2O outside of a pub. Yeah, well, that's that's a Christmas tradition. Fine. Get them in, in bulk. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Fair enough. Costco. <laughs> yeah. Okay, good, good. So this is what sort of time are you fry upping? Uh that that probably is on the table at about ten AM. Okay, nice. Yeah. Okay, then what's happening? So then we go back into the into the lounge. And then we get cracking on the, the, the sort of main event, really, the presents. Yeah. These days, there's only a few. Yeah. You know, the, as a kid, that was like, you know, at least an hour long sort of yeah. experience. Dragged out as well by mum. Yeah. You know, she'd, she'd do it strategically. So, yeah, gift giving. Um, that's pretty much it. Then the TV goes on. And that's sort of... Then me and mum, actually, in recent years, I've started helping mum with the roast because she absolutely hates cooking. Never Ooh. been a fan. But... Um, it's just expected to do it. See, I love doing the roast. So I don't think, and that's one of the best things since I'm now sort of family is that I can now be in charge of the roast. Really? I love it. Do you get like possessive over like anyone sort of touching and getting in your in your zone? No, I mean I need my space to do it, but no one's trying to get involved, <laughs> to be fair. No one's everyone's quite happily Please. leaving it to to me. It's it's I'll make a spreadsheet. Yeah. Go have a little spreadsheet with your timings. Nice. Going back if you've got there, because you need to sort of know, right, if you've got limited oven space, yeah. you need to go, right, what's going in when? And, Essential. And you sort of need to go, okay, so we, you can take the turkey out to rest for 15 minutes or yeah. 20 minutes. So that, that, that's an opportunity to get the pigs in blanket or whatever in. Yeah, yeah. Sort of thing. It's a Do dance, that. isn't it? It's a, it's a dance. It is, well, but it's, if, like, when you pull it off, it's, the yeah. feeling's unreal. Oh, yeah. You can't, Do you know what? Honey roasted parsnips. Ooh. Have you tried them? I think I might have had them in pubs now, but I've not tried making mm. them. Yeah? It's, it's pretty simple. So are you putting the parsnips in with? I can't actually remember. In with a, but as in, are they being served? Oh no, they've got to go separate. They're separate. They're separate. If you're doing do honey roast, like yeah, that. you've got to go separate. Yeah, okay. Um, that's a good addition. You know, it, you, you might want to split them between regular and then the honey roast, just in case you don't like them. Uh, it's always it's just some oven space. Are we talking agar or something here? If you do that, no, 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 no. I mean, it was a, hey, it was a controversial decision last year, but I had to, I had to just like fight for my right to try them. So yeah. I think, yeah, it was like in a separate little sort of thing. Also, what, what, what's my other suggestion? You a fan of sprouts? You yeah. Know, you wear your sprout hat. <laughs> yeah, okay. I do. A modern take on the sprouts is to cut them up yep. into sort of your shreds, and then fry them with a bit of bacon. Yeah. Left over from breakfast. Maybe chestnuts of, in there? Mm, can be done. Can be done. Can be done. Yeah, with a bit of garlic uh, yeah. butter. Oh, mm. yeah. Sprouts are such a great vegetable, and people think they don't like them because they can be appallingly cooked. Yeah. They, if you overcook them, they just become bitter and horrible. They smell They smell of fart as well, I find. Yeah. Like, they don't smell great, and I think like to most people that's enough. But yeah. also, I think people like... Yeah, they don't make their own judgment, do they? Yeah, and, and people... And they cook them back. If you like pan fry them or even roast them as well they can be great roast them oh i might also, try a roast also, what i'm gonna make later today i've got the ingredients for um shredded sprouts not even cooked okay like shredded sprouts with pomegranate seeds Ooh. and roasted hazelnuts hello 
little salady thing. Jeez. I know. Mediterranean be, take. I can tell you what, that is going to be a very <laughs> passive aggressive conversation with my kids when they refuse <laughs> to even try it. That is going to be unpleasant. That is going to be very unpleasant. You've got to introduce these things early, though. Then they, they won't be scared of vegetables, which... Yeah. It's, it's weird, like, when you get... I can remember a kid called Phil I went to school with. He like, didn't eat vegetables. You know what? None, mate. <laughs> my sister's the same. But I don't, my sister's exactly the same. There's got to be a vegetable that you like. I was quite... I was quite fussy growing up as a kid where I would like, I would really get, like, it, trying beans, for example, yeah. was like a big step for me, baked beans. I used to, when I did admit that I liked them, I used to have them on a separate plate so they didn't yeah. make the other food soggy. It was all about like textures for me. So if it was a cris crispy chicken nugget or yeah. a crispy smiley face, it was all about keeping that thing crispy. And if I wanted to dip it into the, um, into the beans after, then that's my choice. That's fair enough. Yeah. Yeah, I, I respect that. I do think if you're not allergic to something, you can make yourself like or at least tolerate almost yeah. anything. I did not like eggs for many years. Really? And I've, I'm training myself. I still wouldn't go, oh, I want eggs. <laughs> but if there was eggs now, I could eat them. What, why is why is that? I'm just that not particularly enjoying it. I've always liked the yolk of a fried egg. Yeah. Mix in the yolk sauce with HP sauce. Okay. Produces the greatest sauce in really? the world. Better than the sum of really? its parts. It's like a hot, uh, eggy, it's, it's incredible. I can't say I, I will go and try that one. You won't. No? Is, it, is it the texture with eggs though? Because like, I if think they're, they're a not bit cooked rubbery, properly, yeah. then you, if they're overcooked, they're rubbery, but yeah. if they're undercooked, they're just pure gunge. Yeah, I think it's a bit, it's a bit of a mix of, of and not particularly liking the taste of the, of, the, yeah. of the egg white sort of thing. But I think, but now, because I've tried them, I, and I did the same with olives, because I didn't like olives. But yeah. what I noticed was that people liked olives, Fucking loved olives. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, we're well into olives. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, I want to be part of that gang. <laughs> I want to be part of the olive gang. So I made myself eat olives. But, now I love olives. Do you know they say, yeah, what there was, I swear that this was like either a YouTube video or it was a science experiment where it was like, how long does it take? Jesus. Oh, she was so good at <laughs> it. Yeah. Um, it was like, how many olives do you have to eat to, to start enjoying the taste of olives? I'm pretty sure it was a okay. YouTube video, great YouTube video. Where, um, yeah, it is like literally going from hating olives. And it sounds like you've done that experiment just willy-nilly. Yeah, yeah, I guess I, I guess I have. So really now there's not many things I don't eat. I don't like uncooked cheese. Mm. So like uh, melted on pizza, no problem oh, at all. Yes. Are you, the, are you the same? Yeah, I'm exactly the same. I don't get, I don't get just chamming into like a cold oh, square no. of cheese. But it tastes a bit chalky, it. I find a lot of the time. I, do you know what? I, I've, I've probably tried it a handful of times i can't yeah. i can't remember a time where i've tried it no to the point that if i do a toasted sandwich and the cheese isn't sufficiently oh. melted in the middle yeah like, oh come on yeah yeah eat this no i'm no. not left in the breville long enough yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no that's a game to it that is that is a deal breaker for me the yeah. cheese needs to be melted but that's the kind of thing like, i'm not gonna bother lear learning because like making myself because i'm sure if i really dedicate myself i could eat brie <laughs> but but all that's going to happen is i'm going to become more obese yeah. if i get into cheese yeah it doesn't seem like a thing yeah if, especially if you're it's, it's not a healthy thing is it, it no. it's like che cheese and wine boards like get out of it like why would you have that grapes like that doesn't make sense to me yeah if there is a cheese board i would just have crackers with a bit of butter yeah and some grapes yeah maybe the grapes are for us yeah. Well, let's have the cheese yeah. over the, over the idiots. It's like when you go to an Indian restaurant, they've got chicken nuggets on the menu. <laughs> chicken nuggets and scampi. Yeah, for idiots, you won't eat, <laughs> you won't try other food. We're based, that's, that's the cheese board equivalent. The thing is, people get so arsy about food choice, right? And they, they, they feel like, I think, feel like fussy is a word made to feel like, made to make people feel bad for their choices. Yeah. Whereas for me, I'm, I used to be quite against like sauces, but that was only because people in like normally, fast food chains where you get a burger will just drown the burger in yeah. sauce so it's like i don't want a fuck ton of sauce i just yeah. want a bit of sauce so suddenly having a choice makes me fussy but it's like i've just got standards it's weird because i remember when i moved to canada i worked in a coffee shop for a bit i had to make sandwiches and i never didn't eat mustard oh. so i didn't understand how much mustard to put on a sandwich <laughs> i was putting on far too much mustard <laughs> And and then uh, someone said to me, "There's too much mustard." I went, "Okay, fine, understand that." <laughs> but there was it was like at Sky in the Sky Canteen when I worked there. There was a woman who made sandwiches. It was like she never had a sandwich. <laughs> like, she didn't, like it was it was like it was like a madman's dream. It'd be like, it'd be like I've got the bread. I'm gonna put like I'm gonna put in like a thousand pieces of ham. 
like, it's like eating meat and breadcrumbs. It was, it was mental. Or she'd put like like one bit of ham and like 300 tomatoes or something. No, the tomatoes should be the, the, the little accent, not yeah. the main, main yeah. thing. It was mad. And then and she wouldn't even come straight. It'd be like at a weird angle. Didn't, neither diagonal or square. That is fucking... That is so odd. Yeah, it's yeah. like... To be fair, sandwiches are a balance tonight. They're, they're pure... You know, you got to get the the ratios right, and otherwise, you, you, what the fuck you do? When I'm is... doing these things, I, I'm always thinking these walks. I'm always thinking, what's the little clip that goes at the beginning before it starts? <laughs> I think sandwiches are balancing out. They've got to get the ratio right. It's almost certainly going to be the one that sets the. That's going to keep on. them watching. To that's, the end. Gonna, that's the clickbait. That's what clickbait consists of on this channel. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I felt quite yeah. passionate about that then. No, I, was, I was really, yeah. yeah. The um, so we got up to Christmas meal. So the meals, yeah. the meals have we, we're turkey. Yeah, turkey. Yeah, turkey. Yeah, turkey crown. We we can't yeah, eat same, a whole turkey same. in the family. I mean, I'm at the point out even a turkey crown is too much because yeah. it's only really me and two of the kids who eat it. Yeah, yeah. vegetarian. Yeah. So um, and Otto says he's chicken terrian, which means he just doesn't want to eat chicken because he thinks chickens are cute. Really? Yeah. Um, oh, which I've tried to say to him, that sounds like you only eat chicken. Yeah, yeah. Chicken terrian. Because vegetarians not people who don't eat vegetables. Yeah, yeah. Doesn't matter. He's not interested well, in that You can't reason argument. with children, can you? <laughs> no, no. So, um, uh, so yeah, I think literally I could just get away with a couple of chicken breasts that'd yeah, be fine, yeah. but... But that feels still, like a cop-out. Yeah, you, you need to see, yeah, at, least like a, at least a, a carcass in there. <laughs> Yeah, some, you'd, some see, sort. you'd see death. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, so um, that, that's good. Um, afterwards, pudding, Christmas pudding. No. Oh. So uh, yeah, this is this is where the the Christmas gets awfully Tory. Um, my mum. <laughs> my mum. The tears of poor people. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, it's not poor. It's it's the tears of poor people. No, we um, it's these these uh, what are they? Pine chocolate pine cones from M and S. They're oh, fucking wow. unreal. They are unbelievable. They're like, they've got like gold fucking leaf on them and shit like that. They're really like, they do, yeah. This is you and Rhys Mogg <laughs> cheersing yeah, over the, yeah. you're over in the aisle, you're both reaching, oh, sorry, you take <laughs> yeah. that, you go first. So oh, take oh, oh. Um, yeah, they're, they're unreal. Then they've got like a caramelly bit in the min- middle. That That's sort of the go-to. Okay. Yeah. It's, okay. yeah, that's, that's yeah. No Christmas pudding. I'm, again, I'm not cultured enough for that shit. I just, nah. i I haven't this year, um, but normally I will make my own Christmas pudding really? in November. Nice. And, they, and it's glorious. My nan used to do that. It's Nigella, pie, Nigella Lawson's recipe is really? the pinnacle of Christmas pudding oh, recipes. I love Nigella. Love yeah. Nigella. Do you set it on fire and everything? Sometimes, yeah. Yeah, I've been That's known a, to. It's a spectacle, that. It is, That's, yeah. You're already how many drinks deep? Yeah. You're lighting stuff on fire. Got, got one of the little thick the matches or two. I've got a little stick. The kids like it. Kids like fire in the house. Yeah, yeah. Of Who doesn't? <laughs> Kids, um, kids are arsonists. I was an arsonist when I was a kid. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. like just would light matches one after another and just stare at the flame. I'd do like quite, yeah, just see what I could set on fire. Just, yeah, yeah, just standard child stuff. <laughs> don't, don't do this. <laughs> um, have, you, have you ever had a Christmas nightmare? Like, not not an actual, like, bad dream. Oh, okay. Like, have you ever had, like, some, you know, just a... You know when you, you My like, brother fainted there, like... once during Christmas. Oh, real? Yeah. yeah, that ruined it a little bit. <laughs> Took the edge off it. Um, what, what happened? Why, why he just sort of fainted. Not written. He just sort of sat there, just, uh, he just sort of fainted, and I sort of caught him. <laughs> and the year after, he forgot to buy anyone presents. No so way. two years in a row, he like ruined Christmas. Um, Fuck. Yeah. But, um, so then, so the Christmas meal's done. You've, yeah. You've had your 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 Tory, Tory chocolate trees. Yeah. Uh, Pinko Tory, Tory chocolate trees, <laughs> <laughs> and then um, and then and then what? What is it? A bit of TV in the evening? Yeah, it's normally yeah. Like we don't really play many games as a family, which I might I might try and introduce this year because I feel like we could have kind of a lot of fun. Yeah, um, like but game. yeah, it normally just goes like we pick a film and then that's sort of sort of it really. The gin comes out and it's just just a drink of fun really. But then I, I sort of go up with my girlfriends in the evening, so I'll sort of depart at about you know, eight pm. Do you know what I'm going to try and introduce this year? Going to the pub. Going Christmas to the pub. Day, lunchtime. Interesting. Very... Now, a lot of people who do it. Wait, so when are you eating? You're... Well, that's the issue. I'd suggested eating really early at 12. <laughs> I think 12 to 2 is your pub window. Yeah. But Bev's saying, well, then by the time you finish and all that, it's going to be 12.45. Yeah. You're going to the pub, you're going to get one drink in. So I think maybe eating 4 or 5. Yeah. Late breakfast, which is a really big fry up type thing for breakfast. Yeah, yeah. Then a pub trip. Couple of pints. I'm not there. against that. Do you know what I thought? Like I thought that was just awful. 
going to like the idea of going somewhere else other than yeah. staying in home. But I'm warm to the idea. The thing I think the thing is with my area, the the pubs on the high street are just they're not the ones you want to spend Christmas in. They're just like yeah. they're not that sort of vibe. Whereas a country pub, I think if you yeah. probably go a little bit further out, that could be a nice vibe. Yeah, I think just, they're just like a little pint or so. It might even if it's if it's particularly COVID, I'll stand outside and drink it. <laughs> but just a nice little 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 trip out, a walk, yeah, yeah. walk to pub, little pint. Whole family or just whole you? family? Yeah, just just you. Just me and my own. Oh, that I'm totally on board. That's a much better idea. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that. <laughs> Yeah, that's, a, that's an interesting addition. Yeah, I'll let you know how it goes. Yeah. Wonderful. Yeah, please do. Well, look, it's it's been lovely. We should probably start walking back towards the edge of the forest because, quite frankly, I've got no idea where we are and it's quite a big place. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, where the... We've got, we've got a dog that may help us. What the fuck is that? So, Zach, it's been a... Um, Lovely little stroll, for me anyway, I, I can't speak for you. No, I've got wet feet, wet ass, and uh, got to clean my dog. So. <laughs> yeah, you do have to clean your dog. <laughs> yeah, you were, on the way around, you were saying that you, um, that you think that your dog gets an unnecessarily bad rep being dirty, and it was just it was a white dog. Yeah. It was another white dog, but it was basically like a pristine cloud. Outclassed in every way, yeah. <laughs> so you need, to, you need to give her a little, little wash. She's been very well behaved. She has been, yeah. By and large, she's been a good dog. Today. Marvelous. Have you got any Christmas words of wisdom for the viewers? Uh, just, just enjoy yourself. You know, you know. You see that extra drink on the side? Grab it. You're allowed. <laughs> You've had a hard year. If you're 18 plus. If you're 18 plus. Yeah. Wink, wink. Don't <laughs> uh, No. Just enjoy, guys. It's nearly 2022. Where the fuck did the last two years go? Who knows? Marvelous. If people have enjoyed you and they want to find more from you it's 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 the zach and jay show on youtube don't ask where jay's gone or <laughs> zach Allsop on instagram wonderful twitter don't bother i don't put anything out that's worth following for fair enough thank you very much merry christmas everyone hope you have a merry great christmas. day and uh we're back with a uh walking video new year's day as well hooray Love bye <laughs>